Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have learned about the emulated shadow DOM. I already told you that if no encapsulation property is provided here, if no encapsulation property is provided in the component decorative, Angular will use the emulated by default. So that is one thing we have discussed. And if you provide and if you add this one as view encapsulation dot emulated or otherwise, if you don't provide anything, what will happen here? automatically the emulated shadow DOM, the angler will apply a attributes to each and every element so that and also the CSS whatever you are trying to see it and for that CSS also you will be able to see the CSS has been changed to its attribute thing. So this is an emulated. Now let's see about the native shadow DOM so that the browser's default shadow DOM how it will be implemented. Now the same code I will change it to shadow DOM here shadow DOM. Now I have changed it to shadow DOM. Now what will happen? Let's try to see the output. If you see the output, see everything has changed. Now here if you try to see here at the top it was and it is emulated, you are able to see the red color. Why? Because for this H1 tag, let's open this course.com. For this H1 tag in the global CSS, we have applied a color of red. But this time when I try to apply, when you try to change it to native shadow DOM, the scope, the color has been changed. The color is being changed. That means the color red is not applied. Why it has not been applied is because in the native shadow DOM, the global styles will not be applied. Only the style specific to that scope only will be applied. Here for this one, the scope styles are nothing but the blue and the H2. Okay. So it will the shadow DOM here behind the scenes. Okay. So angle, uh, so to change, <clears throat> so we have changed it to shadow DOM, right? With the native shadow DOM, the angular attributes that prevented us from styling the projected H2 are gone. Now here, if you try to see H1, all the things which you are able to see here, the div, the ng content, these are all the attributes we are able to see, right? These all are gone. But for this H2, the ng content ng is there. Why it is there is because this H2 is coming from the parent component and that parent component view encapsulation is emulated by default. So because of that reason, the course component is the na native uh, shadow DOM, but whereas the app component HTML from which the H2 is coming is not a native shadow DOM. It is an emulated shadow DOM because of that reason we are able to see that angular unique attributes. Okay. So now we are using a shadow. Uh, DOM. So now when you use the shadow DOM, you will be able to see a shadow root. Okay. So here our styles are now inside a style tag in our shadow root. Here the styles are inside this one. So the projected H2 still has an ng content attributes on it. Well, this is come this because component is part of the parent component that is nothing but the app component. The and the app component still uses the default encapsulation. So that is one thing and also one thing what you are able to see the margin left has been applied but whereas in our uh, emulated thing the h2 is not applied Why? because the h2 is coming the h2 element is from the app component at html whereas the css we have written it here but whereas in the native shadow DOM, it will apply so here the so that's it so what i want to tell you is one thing global styles don't work with the shadow DOM. This is the big difference from Angular's emulated shadow DOM. This is the one difference. Emulated shadow DOM and also the native shadow DOM are both fantastic concepts because they enable us to write the scoped styles that don't leak out and impact the rest of our application. So that is one thing. With view encapsulation dot emulated, your styles are scoped but your component can still consume the global styles. That is nothing but here. If you change it to here, emulated. So that means you can able to write the scoped styles. That means component specific scoped styles. You can write it. And also your component still can use the global styles. Now this H1 color will be changed to red. It will the component styles will be scoped and also it can also consume the global styles. However, you can't apply styles to the projected content. Projected content means the content which is coming from the parent component or anything. You can't apply the styles to those things. But with the view encapsulation shadow DOM, your styles are scoped. That is one thing. Your styles are scoped. 
but your component cannot consume the global cell so when you change it to shadow dom here so here when is uh, where is our course component at ts yeah when you change it to shadow dom here okay so here when your styles are scoped so why because this is a browser's native feature here the styles are scoped so if you try to go in your angle animations and this is our shadow root so behind the root dom logic a shadow root has been created in this shadow root you are able to see the styles and the logic the html content and all those things you are able to see so here the styles you can scope it but the global styles which we have written it in our head and something like that somewhere you will be able to see it right style.css or anything so i didn't remember exactly open a new tab the styles which you have written okay this is coming from the bootstrap so the styles which are coming so here only it will be there i think in this style.css only so why because we have added bootstrap in the angular cli i think yeah here the h1 color edit. this is coming from the global styles so these things will not be applied in the shadow root only the scoped things will be applied however you can also apply the styles to the projected content in the native uh, native shadow dom so these are the differences between the emulated and the shadow dom now the last concept which you are having is the none so none means nothing so everything the encapsulation nothing is there so normal dom you'll be able to see here the css global styles will be applied and also the component specific styles also will be applied to the entire application so there is nothing here if you try to see here the what i can say the attributes which you are trying to see here the, for the app for the h1 do and all this h3 is a projected content so by because of that reason this attribute is added but here if you try to see uh, nothing is applied and also the styles which you are trying to see here blue and h2 will be applied to all the h2 in the angular application or in the project or in this web page you will be able to see it so these are the three things encapsulation which you need to understand emulated shadow dom and none i hope that i have given you a pretty much clarification on the emulated shadow dom and also a native shadow dom emulated shadow dom is an implementation mimic of the native shadow dom why angular has implemented this emulated shadow dom is by the time when the angular was created there is no uh, the browser doesn't have a full support on this sh native shadow dom all the browser doesn't support it in order to make it support by all the browsers angular has designed this emulated shadow dom so this is all what i want to explain you and i will commit this code in a new branch video iphone 7 all the videos which i will be trying to do it i will commit in all the branches so that you can able to see this code whichever you may be having doubts like uh, beginners or anything who are learning so they can do it so here native shadow dom so here i will be committing this code let's publish this branch whoever may be having a doubts and all those things so here this is my github repository url so you can go here and you can watch this uh, you can go to this particular video branch and you can watch and you can refer the code and this github repository link url will be provided in the description below of this video if you this is all about the emulated shadow dom and the native shadow dom if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you